Paid family and medical leave is among the issues Governor Whitmer is putting at the top of her priority list in the last few months of this year. Rachel Louise just explores what that policy might look like here in Michigan. The majority of Michigan workers, about four in five, don't have access to paid family or medical leave, according to Governor Gretchen Whitmer. But if she gets her way, that'll soon change. Two and a half years ago, Senator Mallory McMorrow had her daughter while she was serving in the Senate. She chose to take a maternity leave that lawmakers aren't guaranteed. There is physical healing that is involved. I got a call from a lobbyist less than two days after giving birth when I was still bleeding and wanted to get a meeting with me. Um, I also went through postpartum depression, and this is a, a necessary part of childbirth. It is not a vacation. She's now one of the top lawmakers advocating for a family and medical leave policy that applies to workers across the state. Paid leave is something that's that's really long overdue. We are last in the world in the United States for countries that guaranteed paid leave. State workers in Michigan have already been given paid family and medical leave and state policy already requires large employers in the state to provide 12 weeks of leave. It's small businesses that don't currently face mandates that may be the most impacted by a policy change. More government, costly government mandates placed upon entrepreneurs and small businesses will be harmful for our economy. Brian Kelly, former lieutenant governor and current president of the Small Business Association of Michigan, says forcing a blanket policy on businesses could be detrimental. This is a one-size-fits-all proposal, that there would be one state mandate across the board. While we have few details on a new Michigan leave policy, there are blueprints lawmakers can draw from. Earlier this year, Senate Democrats introduced a bill that suggests up to 15 weeks of paid leave for both birth and adoption. In May, Minnesota enacted paid family and medical leave for nearly all workers in the state. We're going to do what we always do, which is look at the other states that have enacted it. How are they enacting it? What is working? What's not working? Minnesota has something like this. And, and we believe that this proposal that is on the table today is it kind of in a direct response to that. The Minnesota policy imposes a payroll tax to cover the cost and allows up to 20 weeks of leave. McMorrow says if people want to see Michigan's population and birth rate grow, they need to be supporting paid leave. People want to know that they're not going to have to choose between having a child and their job. It's still early on, but at this point, it's unclear exactly how the policy would be paid for in Michigan. In Lansing, Rachel Louise Just.